Today, we're looking at this sweet keyboard from Logitech. I don't know if you can see it, but there's three buttons right here. They were one, two, and three. This allows you to control up to three devices via Bluetooth. It's amazing. Later on, you'll see we'll be controlling two laptops. Back in the day, if we wanted to control two laptops, we would have to connect this keyboard through a KVM. That was really bulky because you end up with a bunch of wires all over the place. But this thing is completely wireless. Oh yeah, this kit comes along with this wireless mouse as well. You got the uh, right click, left click. This button right here lets you not feel the click as well. Very nice. Right now it's super smooth. Right now you can hear the click, 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 click. On the side you got the forward button and as well as the backward button. This button right here lets you change between three devices. So right now we're on device number one. Let's change to number two and number three. Let's go back to one. You can manually turn the mouse off via this switch right here. So off and then back to on. There's a USB receiver right here as well, but my kids lost it already. Oops. So right now this thing and this mouse is connected via Bluetooth to the laptops. The keyboard itself is pretty much standard. Here's a $20 bill to give you a size comparison. There's no window button right here, but you can see that it's labeled as start because this is meant to be used with other devices like tablets and um, phones. On the bottom of the keyboard, you can change the batteries right here. Just lift it up. It is powered by two AAA batteries. You can adjust the height of the keyboard if you want. Here's the maximum height, which is about the height of the quarter itself. Here's the medium height, which is about the half size of a quarter. On the right hand side, there's the manual on and off button as well, just like the mouse right here. I would say the keyboard height is relatively uh, thin compared to the other keyboards. Here at the maximum height, you can see that it's about the uh, height of a quarter. But down on the side, it's about three quarter of a quarter. That means this keyboard is sloping upward. It's not significant, but it's definitely there if you look at it. Here's another angle of the keyboard so you can see the uh, slope. It is relatively comfortable. But obviously it's not super comfortable because it's not a split keyboard, which is what I want. But the kids, they're not ready for a uh, split keyboard yet. The palm brush is uh, made of fabric, so you can see it's already dirty because this is the uh, keyboard for the kids. Yeah, that's no good. If you are an adult, it should be fine. The mouse feels really comfortable. I'm not a mouse person, I'm more of a trackball person. But if you're a mouse lover, this will be more than enough. For now, it's already synced up with one laptop, so let's add another laptop to number two. Let's go to Bluetooth and add another device. Add a Bluetooth device. Let's click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Bluetooth again. And now it's going to search for a bunch of devices. Let's press on number two again. To get in pairing mode, go ahead and press and hold. There we go. It's flashing super fast so you know it's in pairing mode. All right, it found a keyboard, and this is the keyboard, model K850. Go ahead and on the keyboard, type in 971611. Press enter. Of course, on your keyboard, when you're syncing it, it might be a different number. Now the device is ready to go. Click on done. We're done with the keyboard, but now let's add the mouse. Let's get the mouse onto number two. Now that it's on number two, press and hold. There we go, it's flashing super fast. There's the mouse right there, M720 Triathlon. There's no digit to type in, of course, so the mouse is ready to go. Click on Done. All right, let's do a quick demo. We are already on number one. The mouse is also on number one. Let's control this laptop right here on the left-hand side. Very good. 
That works? Great. Laptop number two, let's control that by jumping to number two. Number two here. Very nice. Yep. We can control another laptop, which is not online right at the moment, but it's there. Working perfectly fine. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful on how to control multiple laptops, tablets, or even phones, up to three devices. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.